Hi, everybody. Can everybody talk? Because it's young. It's like a 10 second gap there, Pat. Um, can everybody hear us okay? Good evening. From Let us know in the chat if you can hear us okay. This is the picture round. It is pretty obvious. If you can't work out what you need to do, you're probably not going to do very well mm -hmm. anyway. Um, <laughs> these are some well-known organizations, businesses, companies, whatever, and their logos. You just need to write down the name of the company. Um, like we've already said in various different chats, we will be coming back to this at um, the half time. So if you haven't managed to log on yet, then don't worry about it. We'll be we'll be coming back. That's good. Yeah, week. give give the people who haven't <laughs> logged on. <yet. laughs> no, but they might watch it in like every year. In every year, right? Um, <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody. Can and uh, we can actually see the chat this time. That's nice. Um, okay, so. Picture I'm going off. Yeah. Is it already up? I mean, I've already explained this oh. to you. It's, it's up there, isn't it? Oh, that's better. That's better. Dan's, Dan's dipping you in chat already. Oh, God's sake. He says, I'm sure on. those who haven't logged on can hear you, Lucy. Don't worry. It's <laughs> the point I just made, Dan. Yeah. Um, so we are sponsored by Seriously Fish. We're going to run race through this. Um, make us loads of money by going on seriouslyfish.com, clicking on loads of adverts, uh, click on the Amazon links on the species profiles, and then go on Amazon and spend a ton of money. Thanks. That'll be mid. On it's not fish so related products. No, it doesn't have to be fish related. Does if you not? click on one of those links, it drops a naughty little cookie on your browser, and then you can go and buy some really expensive non fish related stuff and uh, make us some money. It doesn't go to charity, it just goes to me. Which is absolutely fair enough. Um, and also, some of you might have noticed the, the title change for this week's quiz. Uh, we ran into a bit of a copyright infringement <laughs> issue <laughs> with the last one and got temporarily which kicked is, off YouTube. <laughs> so, <laughs> which is why had, last uh, week we had a bit of a delay. Oh, uh, Tracy, man, what are you doing? What's that? Which is only just. Good luck then. Um, okay, do you want to do um, your mint feedback? No, you told me not to. I didn't prepare any. Oh, you didn't prepare? Oh, that is a real shame. <laughs> So last week Lucy did some really funny feedback. It um, wasn't funny, it was genuine feedback. You just can't cope with the fact that people prefer me on camera to you. Feedback that I had was not that. Um, okay, so here's what you'll need. Pen and paper, sense of humour, at least three brain cells. That joke's getting a bit old now that I change that. Um, six normal rounds plus the picture round. Write your answers down as you go. Let us know at the uh, end of each round how you've done. Put your scores into so the chat. So we're not going to get them to let us know how we've done at the end of the half time, like before. No, half it's time. fine. Then put it in chat. It's good. I think it's good to see how people are doing. We're going to try and work it all out, and it just takes like no, a no, time. no, no. I'm not going to try and work it out. It's just I like to see when people do your rounds. I like terrible to see the scores team names. You've got right. good team names. Yes. Let us know your yeah. team name. Come up with a team name. Keep it clean, please. Right. Keep it clean. Uh, so should we get straight in? Do you think? Do you mm. want to get straight in? Are we yeah. Are we ready? Are people kind of settled? I know we've rushed this all bit but um last quiz took like an hour and a half so i think this time we'll pace it up a bit make it a little bit more snappy um so let's get straight into the second round general knowledge this is me in it yeah um okay question one which actor played james bond most recently which actor played James Bond most recently. I'm going to keep the question on the screen for a little bit longer this time. Um, if you want to talk to me, you can do, but uh, hang on, let me just read this. All right. Question two. Which company did Bill Gates found? Which company did Bill Gates found? I'm still cutting off the bottom half of the chat. Yeah, it's yeah. It needs to be bigger. That's a problem. The widget needs to be bigger. But then it means that it impinges on my lovely face space. So we're not going to do that. Question three: Where in your body is your patella? Where in your body is your patella? Do you know the answer to that question? I do. <clears throat> do you? 
did you before you did this? Yes. No. You, well, you know why? You know why? You know why I knew it? Not giving it away, though. Question four. My mum's just said we're out of sync. Is that us that are out of sync? Or is your device that's out of sync? Anybody else mm. out of sync? What does it mean? What does she mean by out of sync? Does she mean like lips moving at a different time to the um, like the audio or? Oh, like what? A banner <laughs> with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the leader of the Greek gods? Question five introduces a new feature on the quiz. It is an anagram. So if you think you're good at quiz stuff if you think you're proper like nails at quizzes so that means like you sheena and des if you think you're minted quizzes just don't look at the anagrams the anagrams are there to make things like possibly a little bit easier or add another dimension well. um audio isn't matching video okay i don't really know what to do about that i'll leave this question on for a second Sheena says it's way out. Okay. It's not happened before. Yeah. Oh, I bet you know why it is. What? I'm downloading a load of Grey's Anatomy. Oh, you I have one. absolute <laughs> idiot. <laughs> So, um, yeah, Lucy's going to turn off the totally legal downloads of um, episodes of things. I'll crack on, see if uh, we get any better. Uh, where are we? Question six. How many ounces are in a pound? Lucy, the baker, didn't know the answer to this question. Amazing. How many ounces are in a pound? Let us know if the um, if the audio kind of fixes itself, please. Lucy has now apparently turned her stuff off. Question seven: How many bones do sharks have in their body? How many bones do sharks have in a... I don't, I don't know. I don't know why you're like whispering and gesturing from over there. I don't know if it's made it any better, do I? That's why I said ask. I have. I've already asked. There's no point spamming question marks at me on Facebook when I'm trying to read the questions out. Question 8. Water is made up of what two elements? Water is made up of what two elements? If this doesn't work, if the sink is still a bit knackered, we'll get to the end of round one before we do the questions, uh, before we do the answers, sorry, and then um, and I'll stop it and kind of rebroadcast. Question nine: What does a chronometer measure? What does a chronometer measure? Question 10. Who was inaugurated as South Africa's first black president in May 1994? There's an anagram for you. What are you doing, Pat? Just checking. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Right. Uh, who was inaugurated as South Africa's first black president in May 1994? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to 
um, stop the broadcast and put it live again so if you please just follow the same process go on YouTube search for my name go into my channel and then see if you can um, see if you can get back on the live stream If we get back, it's bizarre. The webcam has just completely changed, but that's right. Um, hello, are we back? Can anyone let me know if we are back and the sync is okay, etc.? All I did was pause and record it and then exit it. Is that not? <laughs> I was there uh, downloading two, some quiz and that two me. weeks in a good. row that uh, Lucy has broken the quiz. <laughs> Everybody, oh, I was there. Uh, yep, that looks like it's working. <laughs> um, okay, so back to the answers for round one. Gonna scoot through these quite quickly. Which actor played James Bond most recently? It was <laughs> Daniel Craig. <laughs> Which company did Bill Gates found? That's not nice, yeah. It's Microsoft. Your patella is part of your knee. The leader of the Greek gods was Zeus. The international organization established at the end of World War I was the League of Nations. There are 16 ounces in a pound. Sharks have zero bones in their body. That was a bit of a trick question, because obviously if it was going to be a number greater than zero, no one really would have had it would have been able to answer it. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. A chronometer measures time. And Nelson Mandela was inaugurated as South Africa's first Ooh, I've yeah, there's a typo in that. That's it. Oh, oh, remember last no, week when I made a final mistake? You're not, you're not allowed and to talk. And you change your WhatsApp group name and rinsed his for a week. You're not allowed to talk <gasps> after you ruined the quiz. Quiz not me. The quiz. Addictive. Right. Round three. What are you doing? Why are you pointing at the laptop? Or what? I just know because sometimes he tells off the pushing buttons. I wanted to know if it was okay that Whoa, I Whoa, why, why are you moving it? <laughs> what, are you do what are you doing? Lorraine uh, got 41 and a half. No, 44 and a half. Nine for Tracy. Well done. Dan got five. That's a decent introductory effort. Um, has a, we're not keeping score this time. I tried last time and with too many teams it was just a nightmare. Um, but you keep score please. And do let us know at the end of each round because it's good to know how people did in each in each round. Uh, okay, so got some decent scores coming in. When you got nine there, Kyle and Tammy got seven. It's a great introductory effort as well. Dan's only one person. Where's Sarah? Uh, she's on the phone to her mum, I think. Mm. Yeah, Dan's only one person, and that one person is Dan. Mm. So uh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> round three. Okay. <coughs> No title slide? Right, so the next uh, one. It was already on, you see. Oh. You know, the when you were pointing at the laptop <laughs> blindly for no apparent reason. <laughs> Film and TV. So, question one In which English seaside town was Faulty Towers set? Let us know if um, if the sound dips out again or stops syncing or anything. I pause me downloads, so it should be okay. We stop talking about those downloads. <laughs> question one In which English seaside town was Faulty Towers set? Question two. In which 1992 movie do the characters Mr. Pink, Mr. Blonde, Mr. Orange and Mr. Blue appear? That is, in which 1992 movie do the characters Mr. Pink, Mr. Blonde, Mr. Orange and Mr. Blue appear? Question 3. We were on a break is a famous line from which iconic TV show? Everyone should get this one, I think. Bring. Even Dan. Uh, I don't know, actually, Dan might no, be I don't know, like. 
We were on a break. I'd it's a famous line I'd be from the Czech Republic. Actually, I haven't heard from my dad. It's my dad actually. TV show. Alison's on. I'm assuming your dad's on. Question four. What is the name of the character played by Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman? You don't have to get a surname as well. We'll accept just our first name as the right answer. What was the name of the character played by Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman? Was Faith playing? Faith, yeah, Faith, yeah, Faith playing. Yeah. She got seven in that round. Question five. Who is the longest serving character in Coronation Street? Question five. Who is the longest serving character in Coronation Street? Um, just send us a message if we're going too fast. I am trying to get through them because we went over quite a way last time. Yeah, but we're, we're, in, decent, we're in decent time at the moment. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's if you, if you need the questions up longer, just let me know. I'm going to move on now. Question six. This one's a spoiler alert. So if you haven't seen this movie and want to see this movie, um, we will tell you when to look away when we're giving the answers out. But who plays Kaiser Soze in The Usual Suspects? Very old movie. Good movie. Great movie. Until he... Don't say a thing. Do not say a thing. <laughs> no, that wasn't the No, I know no, what you're going to talk about. I know what you're going to talk about. Don't say a thing. Just don't say a thing about anything. Wait until the answers. Who plays Kaiser Soze in The Usual Suspects? So, wait, like I say, that is a spoiler alert. Um, so we will tell you when we're going to reveal the answer so you can look away and put your fingers in your ears or do whatever because it is literally the crux of the movie. Question seven is which actor played the 10th Doctor Who? So that is in the, the new series of Doctor Who but it's still 10th overall. Which actor played the 10th Doctor Who? It's still going back quite a few years now. 10th Doctor Who, isn't it? It is, yeah. Surprising amount of years, yeah. Um... So there's that one. Question eight. Oh, that was a bit oh, quick. Sorry, it says. Keep up there. I mean, it's a short question. People can read quite quickly these days. These days? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> question eight. Which 1993 movie is shot entirely in black and white, with the exception of a little girl's red coat? I love how you changed the. Um... Cadence. Cadence? <laughs> Which. <laughs> 1993 movie is shot entirely in black and white with the exception of a little girl's red coat. Should I do it? Should I change it? Or is it too soon? Okay. Question 9. Which TV show is based on the best selling book of the same name by Margaret Atwood? Kind of feels like we could be living that life quite soon, doesn't it? <laughs> Everything that's happened. No. <laughs> no, it's not post-apocalyptic. <laughs> Which TV show is based on the best-selling book of the same name by Margaret Atwood? Question 10, last one of this round is what type of animal is Indiana Jones afraid of? So question 10 is what kind of animal is Indiana Jones afraid of? I'm interested to see how the Brinkleys do in this round. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think they'll do all right. I'm being corrected by Sheena. She says I mean dystopian. It was you that said apocalyptic. Not me. No, no, no. What, else. No, no, no. What I'm, what I'm saying is that the series you're talking about, like, we couldn't randomly turn into that because of coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Right. Anyway. Gonna go through the answers now. Um. I'll leave this screen on for a few seconds just in case you missed any of the questions and you want to have a, a little look through because we are making good time. Ruin, you ruined my presentation again. How? What have I done? Because you, you went to the answers without changing the honesty. Oh, look, nobody cares. I do. Nobody cares. It's all I've got in my life. Nobody is sitting watching this going, oh my God, look at the format and look at the... Course, apart from every damn streak. No, no, no. Again, oh, nobody cares. Oh, as if Dan knows. This is, this is for me. Right. This is important. Here come the answers. In which English seaside town was Faulty Towers set? That is Torquay. What do you expect to see out of a Torquay hotel bedroom window? That's one of my favourite episodes. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm no, wasting. In which 1992 movie do the characters Mr. Pink, Mr. Blonde, Mr. Orange and Mr. Blue appear? It is Reservoir Dogs. We Were on a Break is a famous line from Friends. And... 
Julia Roberts' character in Pretty Woman was Vivian Ward. But like I said, when we read the questions out, we will just accept Vivian. You don't have to have Ward. I don't know how many people would know that. Yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't have got Ward. You should know Vivian, though. So if you've got Vivian, give yourself a point. Who is the longest serving character in Coronation Street? That is, of course, Ken Barlow or, or Mr. Ken. William Roach, as is known IRL. Right. Who plays Kaiser Soze in The Usual Suspects? Look away and put your fingers in your ears, mute your TV, turn your phone off, whatever. If you don't want to know the answer to this, it will disappear after I've read it. So by the time I'm reading out the 10th Doctor Who, you won't be able to see who plays Kaiser Soze. I'm going to count down because it really is a big spoiler. Who plays Kaiser Soze in The Usual Suspects in 3, 2, 1, Kevin Spacey? <laughs> what? I said, put your fingers in your ears. Obviously, I'm Whoa. going to read it. I don't know what people's like learning needs are. <laughs> oh, I said, put your fingers in your ears or mute your TV or phone. Life. Why are you saying that? I specifically gave instruction. Just on you lot if you've heard it and didn't want to. Which actor played the 10th Doctor Who? It is the lovely Mr. David Tennant. Which 1993 movie is shot entirely in black and white with the exception of a little girl's red coat? Schindler's List. Which TV show is based on the best-selling book of the same name by Margaret Atwood? The Handmaid's Tale. Or as we'll all be saying pretty soon, Blessed Be the Fruit. What make, type make, of no animal no, is no Indiana sense. Jones afraid of? Snake. I don't think coronavirus suddenly makes all women be subservient. <laughs> Anyway, we'll leave them, leave them on for a second. Yeah, can't let us know. the fact that my questions are better than yours. That's <laughs> what the problem is. Let it's jealousy and bitterness coming out. Let us know your scores, please. Oh, the Rigby's got nine. That is actually really good. See? See she hasn't even said let the Lord open. She knows. She knows that's where we're headed. <laughs> Ten for Will. Go, Will. Oh, look, Des is threatened. <laughs> oh, no, that was the last round. Striker got six. Pretty decent effort. Oh, uh, Hazard only got three. That might have been a difficult round for the Finns, I guess. Especially the Coronation Street question. <laughs> I don't know, like. I think it's pretty world-renowned. Your, your mum got, got nine. <sighs> Try then time, we got five. What did Lorraine say? I thought we were on a break was Jeremy Kyle. Yeah, well, he probably does say we're going to have a break now, but it's, it's not, uh, not uh, Okay, so round four is sport. Um, similar kind of setup here. We're doing pretty well for time, to be honest. It's only 25 past eight now. So, anyway, let's get in. Question one. Which basketball legend died in a helicopter crash this year? I would never have got this if it wasn't all over Facebook of celebrities attending his memorial. Well, you didn't get it anyway. No. <laughs> so I wouldn't have even had a clue like it was basketball. Which basketball legend died in a helicopter crash this year? It was his daughter as well, wasn't it? Yeah. It's horrendous. Yeah, it was. Question two. <laughs> in which sport did Fanny Schmeller compete for Germany? Fanny Schmeller. Even Vinny is looking at you funny now. <laughs> In which sport <laughs> did Fanny Schmeller compete for Germany? Now, this question is also a reasonably famous YouTube clip for fairly obvious reasons. Dan says in chat, I can tell that is taking all of Duncan's willpower. <laughs> Yeah. I don't even find it funny, Dan. It's not even. It's not even funny. It's, it's childish. Question three: Who is currently ranked number one in the Dart PDC Order of Merit? That's the Dart World Ranking, essentially. So, who is currently ranked world number one in darts? Where will Ryan Joyce be in? The He's quite good. I bet my dad knows. He's good, yeah. Well, he's, I saw him get to a quarter final. Um, so it'd be reasonably highly ranked, I'd imagine. Like top 25, maybe? I'm not sure. Who is currently ranked number one in the Darts PDC Order of Merit? My hay fever's starting to 
I hit my eyes. That's an optochrome. Question four. Can you answer this one? What is an e-sport? What is an e-sport? Do you know anyone that uh, played e-sports, Lucy? No. <laughs> I'm sure Asko would probably agree with you. To be honest. <laughs> Question five. Athletes from which country won the men's ice hockey tournament in the 2018 Winter Olympics. Now, this may be a clue, or it may not, but the question is worded in a very specific way. Athletes from which country won the men's ice hockey tournament in the 2018 Winter Olympics? Who took the gold medal? Question six, what are the two accepted codes of rugby? Rugby union and rugby... Blank. Blank. What are the two codes of rugby? Rugby union and rugby league. Oh, well done. <laughs> Did I just... <laughs> I was too busy reading your... No one heard. It's fine. No one heard. If that reading... had been me. If that had oh, been no. me. No. You're right. You're right, Lucy. You're right. It's right. No one heard. Don't worry. We weren't even broadcast anyway. need to anyway. question now. What ranking is Ryan Joyce in <laughs> <laughs> the BBC Question <laughs> seven. <laughs> Name one of the two highest salaried football players in the world so either of the two highest salaried football players in the world <laughs> no no one heard it i can tell i can tell by all the messages coming in laughing at us um no one definitely no one heard that one what's sam saying why is he not here um kids up helen martin oh, right. bad Fine, 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 fine. Name one of the two highest salaried football players in the world. And I'm not giving you the answer to this one. <laughs> no. Question eight. Uh, so I've just noticed the video stutter a little bit there. Am I still in sync? Am I still in sync? Let me know, please. Um, question eight. Who has won the most prize money in tennis? Who has won the most prize money in tennis? Yeah, okay, it's all fine. That's good. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Tan and Stu. Question nine. Name a type of equestrian event. Even my mum's rinsing you. <laughs> found in <laughs> recent Olympics. Deb would never do that to me. She was laughing at you, not me. To be fair, I thought it was touch rugby when you asked me. You did, know. that's right, yeah. Even though it said rugby blank, you still managed to say touch rugby, so that's good. <laughs> Name a type of equestrian event found in recent Olympics. When I say recent, I think it's like the past 70 years. Any of the events from the past kind of 70 years. Before that, apparently, there were a couple extras that don't count. Oh, question 10. From which country did judo originate? From which country did judo originate? Is your dad on? I haven't. I haven't had a reply from him actually. Mm. Um, if the Wrinkleys are listening to this, can someone please let me know? If Alan has managed to get on, or if he's like fallen asleep or something, it's possible. It is possible. Okay, let's pile in. Which basketball legend died in a helicopter crash this year? Sadly, that was Kobe Bryant. The sport in which Fanny Schmeller competed for Germany 
was skiing. Now, this question is reasonably amusing. It is from The Chase. A famous clip from that. Is it The Chase on ITV? Yeah. yeah. The ITV's yeah. The Chase. Them, but everyone knows what The Chase is. Where the contestant was asked the question about Fanny Schmeller and um, what's Bradley his face? Walsh. Bradley Walsh found it hilarious to the point where he just couldn't stop his face from contorting with laughter. <laughs> it was absolutely hilarious. Who is currently ranked number one in the DART PDC Order of Merit? It is Michael Van Gerwen. He has nearly double the prize money of the person in second place. In eSport is competitive video games. I will take pretty much any answer including video games for that. So if you knew that eSport was something to do with video games, that's pretty much fair enough. What about electronic sports? What people no, about? electronic sports doesn't count because that... That means nothing to anyone. Um, athletes from which country won the men's ice hockey tournament in 2018 Winter Olympics? It was Russia. Now, the question was worded that way because the Russians were banned. So it wasn't Russia, the country, that won. It was athletes from Russia that won. There you go. That's an interesting fact for you. Where are your interesting facts this week? Well, so far your rounds haven't been interesting. So I haven't oh. really got anything to say. Oh, oh, oh. What are the two the codes answer. of rugby... Rugby Union and Rugby, yes, I said it earlier, Rugby League. Name one of the two highest salaried football players in the world. That would be Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. The person that's won the most prize money in tennis is actually Novak Djokovic. I definitely, definitely, definitely would have guessed Roger Federer. Definitely would have guessed. Roger Federer for that, but no, Novak Djokovic. I would have guessed Anna Kornikova. Yeah, you did, and that's wildly wrong. <laughs> uh, for the equestrian events, you can have dressage, show jumping, or eventing. And, of course, the country the judo originated in was Japan. So we'll leave those on for a second. Let us know how you've done. We I'd are like going to see some to the decent break. scores here. Um, are we? Is that what's next? Yeah. Right. Round four, break time. So we'll put the picture round back on for those of you who were late to the party. Um, so we will put the pictures up in a second. If you need a wee or a drink, then do um, you know sort that out, and we'll be back in what five five minutes. I think we're making pretty good time. It's only just after half past. Mm, nice. Yeah, some decent scores coming in there. Wrinkley's got seven. Mm, interesting. Now, is that with Alan? Nobody's answering that question. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think Alan might go on AWOL. Great, William. Anyone heard from Duncan's dad? Grant got eight. Good score. Kyle Tabby got eight. That's a good score. Randy got four. How many did the Finns get? Ooh, ten for Faith. What? Yeah. Oh, she's with James, aren't she? She must she's be. She's clapping herself, though. So she's just doing it. <laughs> she, must, she must be, does <laughs> <laughs> Get a point taken off that. <laughs> Okay, so now um, we're going to go to a break. We're going to mute the microphone, etc. Ring Duncan's dad. I think we should, in the break. Um, and we are going to put the picture round on. So we will be back in about five minutes or thereabouts. Um, and remember, with the picture round, a load of logos. And um, just, yeah, um, try and guess the name of what the logo is associated with. I realised earlier one of them is actually not a not a company, so we'll be back soon.
I'm alive in three, two, <laughs> one. No, we're, we're all right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> please tell please tell me that was intentional yeah welcome back what um what round have we got this time you see this round is called who said that okay now after our second sort of intro quiz last week i did send out a message put some feelers out ask for some feedback this one came back the most popular um but don't, don't be don't be I know I can't do it at the same time just keep your phone turn it over or something. yeah that's a good idea um, this one came back the most popular so if you don't like it it's on you guys <laughs> so this is a series of quotes said by famous people fictional characters things like that all uh, I need you to do is write down who said it what what's that it's just you were about to start there and we're not actually ready to start right are you ready to go? There's, there's two different screens. On, it's really it's hilarious, right? The way this I'm is sorry. set up. I'm sorry, right? There's Hang one on. screen down here. Have I given any answers about live on here? Have I given any answers about live on here? Have I given any answers about live on here? How many answers have I given out on here? How many answers? I even made the prize a Susie one secret. How many answers? We've been going out for 31 years now. How many answers have I given out on here? That's the only mistake I've ever made. Apart from the one I made at the start of this relationship anyway. Okay, let's get straight in. Right, question one. In 1995, who asked Debbie McGee, so what first attracted you to the millionaire Paul Daniels? Now, uh, there's two possible correct answers to this. We will accept either or both. We don't get two points for both. So in 1995, who asked Debbie McGee, so what first attracted you to the millionaire Paul Daniels? I'd be surprised if Strafer gets this one. What's that? something about me ah, don't read your phone if I can't read it because it's very distracting question why, why two glasses on? because after so long on the computer it's not to hit me right. is that alright no just yeah question two which fictional character fictional being the operative word here said happiness can be found in the darkest of places if one only remembers to turn on <gasps> the light have you made a mistake on that quote happiness can be found in the darkest of times sorry times I've made a mistake in me saying it. I, not thought, on the court. I thought it was pleasant. No, it's times. It's definitely times because it's framed in a photograph upstairs. Happy, it sounds better with places, I'll give you that. But it's happiness can be found in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. Now, I know it's times because I thought it was places when I used this quote in an assembly a while back. So it is That time. is interesting. Yeah. That is interesting. interesting fact. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> interesting fact. <laughs> Which fictional character said happiness can be found in the darkest of times if one only remembers turn on the light right question three who is attributed with the quote you're gonna to have to leave these ones on the screen a bit longer i think because okay. there's quite a bit of thank you pregnant. for your feedback shut up ringo wasn't the best drummer in the world let's face it he wasn't even the best drummer in the beatles now i've used the word attributed there because i cannot really find out whether he actually said it or didn't say it so he's attributed to saying this the the person i'm talking about it is a he not quite as bad as don't give the answer away. Who is attributed with the quote, Ringo wasn't the best drummer in the world. Let's face it, he wasn't even the best drummer in the Beatles. Right. Do you mind? I'm texting when? my other women. <laughs> Question four. Which comedian had a famous sketch based on the words garlic bread which comedian had a famous sketch based on the words garlic bread question five we have non-native english speakers watching this stream i'm sure they have a pause button question five which animated character said Augers are like onions. Why do you look at me there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it must have been a subconscious thing. Which animated character said Augers are like onions? Are you sitting on your knees? Yeah, I have to because I get uncomfortable. Yeah, well, you're way taller than me. My feet don't touch the floor. Okay, next. Question six. Which movie is famous for the quote He's not the Messiah, he's a very naughty boy. He's a very naughty he's boy. He's a very naughty boy. Which movie is famous for the quote, 
he's not the messiah he's a very naughty boy um i'll leave that there a few not seconds longer just to give you a tadpole update um i don't know if we gave a tadpole update last week did we no so sadly <laughs> Um, last week, two of the tadpoles had passed away out of the four. Three? No, the three initially. Three initially, two died. Um, I don't think it was my fault. Uh, so we went and got some more. We got another another three. three. Yeah. And all four are currently thriving. No legs yet, but they are big. They've got a kind of weird Massive. translucent green colour and you can see their eyes and stuff. So we'll, we'll let you know. I was thinking about starting some kind of tadpole... YouTube channel, <laughs> but I don't think that many people would be interested. If you are, if you want to keep track of the tadpoles, then you know, let us know. Question seven What is Victor Meldrew's famous catchphrase? Duncan didn't get this right, in spite of him being the embodiment of Victor Meldrew himself, uh, which I was kind of surprised at. What is Victor Meldrew's famous catchphrase? Again, Victor Meldrew is fictional. Question eight. Which fictional character believed in every job that must be done? And then he started saying that there, <laughs> there is an element of fun. Which fictional character believed in every job that must be done? There is an element of fun. So Marvolo is the biggest tadpole, isn't he? By far. I don't think he's physically any bigger now, but he's the one that looks the most progressed in yeah. the sense that he's the most... Um, most advanced Yeah, he's, he's the most green. Question number nine. Which iconic sci-fi character famously said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few? Again, I think I've said that in assembly as well. <laughs> the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. What have you capitalised the S on sci-fi? Because that's the way it should be done. Oh, I wish I'd noticed that. This is, you know, I asked you to fact check it after you no, 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 bitched no. and moaned last week. Language. That's not Family bad friendly. language. It's a politically correct term. You did bitch. So which iconic sci-fi character famously said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Question 10, last one for this round. Which beloved character frequently said things were lovely jubbly and did this? You know, when you said that there, that sentence just amalgamated into like I'll one word. Again. I'll trying again. To try, <laughs> trying Which to... beloved Cockney character frequently said things were lovely jubbly? Cockney accent. <laughs> London. <laughs> <laughs> You're from London. <laughs> right. Let's just put the answers. There's a bedtime yet. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, Lucy, man, ev every time, every time without fail, you get that wrong. This is why you're not allowed. To press buttons, <laughs> keep your hands there. This is why nobody likes you. What, because I have standards? <laughs> Clearly didn't when we saw it, did <laughs> Oh, nice. In 1995, who asked Debbie McGee, so what first attracted you to the millionaire Paul Daniels? The answer is Carolina Hearn or Mrs. Merton. Either of those is the correct answer. Which fictional character said happiness can be found in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light? It was Albus Dumbledore. Question number three. Are you accepting like uh, Harry Potter books as an answer for that? No, of course not. It's okay. a fictional character, not book. Mm -hmm. It was attributed with the quote, Ringo wasn't the best drummer in the world. Let's face it, he wasn't even the best drummer in the Beatles. It was John Lennon. Now, again, I can't find any actual fact behind this, but it is quite a well-known thing. If, if you can find some you know, correct source of information, please do send me it, because I'd be interested to, to see. Which comedian had a famous sketch based on the words garlic bread? That was Peter Kay. Which animated character said that ogres are like onions? Does that sound Scottish? O ogres. Og uh, Shrek. Which movie is famous for the quote, he's not the messiah, he's a very naughty boy. That was The Life of Brian. What is Victor Meldrew's famous catchphrase? It's I don't believe it. I don't bloody believe it. From one foot in the grave. Which fictional character believed in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun? Mary Poppins. No, nope, I'm getting funny looks again. 
Which iconic sci-fi character famously said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few? It was Spock. And last one, which beloved Cockney character frequently said that things were lovely jubbly? It's Del Boy. That's a good round. You said that round was rubbish when I wrote those questions. I think that's a really good round. I'm glad it's you interesting. Did. You learn stuff. <laughs> you learn stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on. So Hazza thinks that there is actually a YouTube video of um, John Lennon saying the Beatles quote. Oh, really? And I'm, I, you know what? As he says that, I'm pretty sure know. I have actually seen that as well. Yeah. Was it? Was it an interview, Hazza? I feel like I feel like it was. I did try and find it, but um, everything I could find was just hearsay, and I, I don't like hearsay. I like to find some proof. Yeah, that's excellent. Button. That's excellent, Lucy. Thanks very much. Uh, okay, that. okay. So round six. Here, that's gonna hit, hit, uh, hit, round hit, hit. six. Let's get through this one reasonably quickly. Um, you can interject with some scores. Oh, some good scores. Yeah, but, uh, I'm Faith, get seven. S- Tammy seven. Will eight. I meant like in between questions. Oh right. Okay, but, sorry, you know. sorry. Sorry. That's alright. You can just kind of. Ruin the presentation. If again. you find that Saturday Night's quiz is just me, <laughs> then you know why. It won't be just you, it will be just me, and your body will be buried. <laughs> uh, question one. Quiz question. Question one. What now illegal substance used to be put into bottles of Coca Cola? Lucy and I practically had a fist fight about this question last night because she doesn't believe it. Because even, I could, I wanted to see the proof. I, I wanted to see a fact checking. No, website I did believe it after, after you sputed that up. I did. I believed you after that. Okay. So Haz says it's a small part of a longer video about Beatles interviews. So there you go. Cool. What now illegal substance used to be put into bottles of Coca-Cola? Question two. In 1955... Excuse me. Just go back to question one a second. Right. What? Is that a grammatical error? No, on question that's one? perfectly acceptable syntax, Sheena. Thank you very much. That's nothing that's wrong with that one. Then you said you're an English teacher. Well, she might be, but I'm still better at English then. Mm. That's never been a dispute. In 1955 in Alabama, which person of colour was arrested for refusing to obey a bus driver's order to give up her seat? Now, do you want to mention it? I do, I do. So every week, um, as we mentioned last week for the first time, because I only just decided last week, my t-shirts will be a clue to the question in the following quiz. So last week's t-shirt was, well, Friday. It was Friday we did the last one, wasn't it? So Friday's quiz t-shirt is the, the clue for this question. What we'll probably do from Saturday is put a little picture of a t-shirt. Yeah, I was going to do it today, but I ran out of time. Yeah, we did. Anyway, in 1955 in Alabama, so which next? person of colour was arrested for refusing to obey... She now young got a clue. That's a just bus a, driver's order to give up it. her seat. My grammar is immaculate. I'm not taking that <laughs> at all. Which country calls itself Suomi? Suomi. 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 Which country calls itself Suomi? Suomi. I'd be interested to know if my dad can get this one. Be interested to know. Not one of his questions. No. Question four. What is the nickname of the famous German fighter pilot who was shot down and killed in April 1918? This one is one of Alan's questions, slightly amended. Um, So, Alan, make sure you're not cheating, please. Don't be helping the Wrinkleys out, because we know where you live. I think if we're going to have a history round where we've got history teachers taking part in the quiz... Oh, Faith's not going to get this one. She might. Nah, she'll get it. James might. James might. Faith won't. Guaranteed. I think then we should have questions that my family are more likely to yeah. Oh, this is... Like, a, this is, mad, is, this is we could have This is a balanced round. This one is the hardest question in this round. Question five. Which country recently... Like, your mum's definitely getting this one. Which country <laughs> recently associated with Newcastle... <laughs> what's that? What's that? Something. <laughs> has a sword on its flag. A sword on its flag that's used to chop up random people which country recently associated with Newcastle I'm not saying kind of what part of Newcastle or what in Newcastle has a sword on its flag question six actually this is possibly the hardest <laughs> question in history right? <laughs> I thought it was a third Reich it's not what is the <laughs> full name of the Nazi party founded in 1920 in Germany 
I would expect the historians to get this one. You would think so. You, you learn about that kind of stuff, don't you? <laughs> do you know, do you? Done many history degrees? <laughs> <laughs> what is the full name of the Nazi party founded in 1920 in Germany? Question seven. Now, this one might be the hardest. No, I'm no, no, because I thought this was Tasmania. It's not. It's Transylvania. There's a different. They're in different places. Yeah, it's, a, it's not the Transylvanian devil. It's a totally Tasmanian different devil. word. Yeah, I'm not really sure what your point is. Dracula. In which country is the region of Transylvania? Yeah, do you want to do your Dracula impression? I can only do Count von Count. I can't do Dracula. Oh, go on, do Count von Count. One, one. Okay, one, no, stop, ah. stop, <laughs> stop, me, stop immediately. In which country <laughs> is the region of Transylvania? Question eight. What was the name of the legendary sword of King Arthur? I don't know how you've got this in history. I'm sure this is fiction. Well, it, no, it is fiction. But so it's, a, it it's a historical like myth. It it's should be in film and TV? Uh, or in a Disney specific section? No, I don't. I'm 99% sure. Happy to be corrected, but I'm 99% sure this was not initially Happy to be a Disney. Yeah, yeah. Not by you. <laughs> <laughs> by someone who actually has some knowledge about stuff. What was the name of the legendary sword of King Arthur? I got this one wrong when you when you tested me on this. What is the capital city of Canada? Canada. <laughs> Canada. I think I know the theme. Uh, not the theme tune to Canada. The, um, the theme tune to Canada. <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> what do you call it? The go song. The national anthem. Yes. <laughs> the theme tune to. But it's only if it's the right one Canada. on the South Pole. <laughs> You know when they say, is it? Uh, 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 I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Actually, that might be France. Question France 10. Tune. What is the highest mountain in Africa? Lucy's just over there. Sorting herself out. <laughs> she's <laughs> literally, she's doing this. Hanging by the hands. Uh, I write the happens? theme tune. Sing the theme, theme. Sing the theme tune. <laughs> what is the highest mountain in Africa? You can see Lucy's actual <laughs> tears on her face, by the way. That was nearly like the time when he held up that lime and did it. was like, what on earth's wrong with this lemon that needs to go in the bin? And he didn't realise it I was a lime. I never happened. Lucy, don't start this, right? <laughs> We've been going out for a long time. <laughs> I have made one or possibly two mistakes in that time. Remember when he forgot the name for Coaster and he said... <laughs> Like that was descriptive. It was descriptive. I had a mental, <laughs> mental blank. Couldn't remember the name for a coaster, and so I described it as a cup mat. But in a fit of rage. That's what <laughs> the rage you were in. When you're so used to being this perfect, it's really irritating <sighs> when occasionally you get things wrong. Don't make me start compiling <laughs> oh, a list. That's so of racist. Mistakes. You've. <laughs> I'm not gonna, not gonna go there. Anyway, answers. Uh, <clears throat> the illegal substance. Uh, that's in bottles of Coca-Cola was cocaine, and that is that is fact it's check. True. That I didn't believe him. Didn't believe him for ages. We are unsure as to how much cocaine was in the bottles, but there was definitely, undeniably, a, at least a small they amount of cocaine in Coca-Cola in 1881. Oh, that is, by the way, um, it was Rosa Parks that was on Lucy's T-shirt last week, or a quote from Rosa Parks on Lucy's T-shirt. That is also. <laughs> Oh, was it, was it an ironic one, was it? I can't even remember what it was. In 1955 in Alabama, the person of colour that was arrested for refusing to obey a bus driver's order to give up her seat was Rosa Parks. The country that calls itself Suomi is Finland. Um, it's a bit of an easy one for your Suomi finish, right? is, well, yeah, considering how many horrendous questions you had in the previous round, I think it's only fair What's enough. the best round? Suomi is Finnish for Finland. Um, the nickname of the famous German fighter pilot who was shot down at the end of World War One was the Red Baron. This thing, his full name was Manfred von Richthofen or something. Bonus point. There's no bonus points if you uh, <laughs> if you could, if you knew that. The country recently associated with Newcastle that has a sword on its flag is the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I will accept Saudi Arabia on its own. That's fine. Um, it is associated with Newcastle because. Um, 
the prince of Saudi Arabia or something is due to imminently take over Newcastle United to make us the wealthiest football team in the whole wide world. He's quite dodgy. Yeah, he does chop people's heads off, but that's all right. It'll give us loads of money. What is the full name of the Nazi party founded in 1920 in Germany? It is the National Socialist German Workers' Party. Faith. Come on. Let us know, historians, let us know if you've got that. That'd be interesting. So got the red baron. Um... And Hazza is interested to know, let us know in the YouTube chat, let us know if you've got the answer to question three. I think we'll get at least one other person getting the answer to that. In which country is the region of Transylvania? It is in Romania. The legendary sword of King Arthur is Excalibur. The capital city of Canada is Ottawa. And the highest mountain What's in Africa is Kilimanjaro. So, that takes us on to... Ooh, the final round. The final round. Now, Lucy's Choose. called this tunes, Nobody and we've had it. at least Nobody 18 people ask us what that means. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did tell her. Uh, but, you know, she can't be it's controlled. It's just music. It's just music. It just it means music. So, this is the music round. Next week, it'll be called the music round. Hey, Will might be on target to win this. Let us know how we did. So, the Rinkley's got nine and a half in that round. We've got ten. Let, us know, let us know what your half is, because I don't remember talking about <laughs> half points there. Let us know. Um, so, presumably, though, uh, the Rinkley's did get question three. They did get two only, so that's good. Good yeah, to but know. Didn't your dad write two of those questions? We need to know that he didn't actually answer them as well. He wrote two, yeah. I would like to think he didn't. Right. We're going to be moving on to the next round, which is tunes or music, for those of you not in the know. So question one. Oh, hang on. And has you've already has, done it, man. Has it? Yeah, you can give yourself an extra half a point if you got the Nazi party name in German as well. That's quite impressive. But you couldn't have done that. Pet, I've eh? got some German in this eh? round. I'll have you know. Yeah, so I've got we'll some see. German in this we'll round. We'll see. Yeah. Rivers of Babylon is a hit song sung by which sensational music group? Rivers of Babylon is a hit song yes. sung by which sensational, sensational. Song, they're sensational, they are sensational, music group. Question two, what is the title of the number one song recorded by Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper in 2017? Now, before we read this, we had a massive party, believe it or not, the other night, because Duncan... That's a terrible question. Yeah, that's it's what he said. He question. said, this is a terrible question. Now, we write our own questions. We don't, um, apart from the, the one that we got off the chase, which we just put in for Bant. the giggles. Bant. Um, we, we write our own questions. And I wrote this because of the feedback we were getting about the music round. So last week it was two 90s and, you know, too much Weezer. Um, so I've made it really varied this week and, and put a, a song in from lots of different decades and different styles and, and things like that. In this is yeah. recent. <laughs> Dan's just spot an amusing typo in there. What is the title of the number one song recorded by Lady Gaga and Radical Button? By who? Oh, ooh. Lord How Gaga. did I say that? Lord I, I even read it back and didn't say it. Oh, Lord Dan Gaga. Straight, I corrected me. Uh, not so, anyway, um, let, yeah. us know, let us know in YouTube chat if you if think you you've get got this one right. right. Yeah, because I think everybody will get this. Because I'm pretty sure everyone will even get Dan this. Even Dan Straight. I reckon maybe, right. maybe one or two people will get I think get everyone this. will get that right. I anyway, think anyway will get question three. Question right. three. Complete the missing lyrics. This one's going to take a ten minutes just to talk about. I've even got old... I don't want to say what this is in case people don't know. Complete the missing lyric. I dance for the scribe and the Pharisee, but they would not dance and they wouldn't follow me. I dance for the fisherman for J. Don't sing it, how are you, man? I dance for the fisherman for James and Blank. They came with me and the dance went on. Kyle, so, Kyle reckons he's got the, the answer to question two. Of course he has. Everybody will. Mm -hmm. Kyle's part I of everybody. Th I think it might be Kyle, maybe my, <laughs> maybe my <laughs> sister. Just, I don't want to sit over there. I watched some of the Grey's Anatomy that I had to pause. I danced for the scribe and the Pharisee. They would not dance and they wouldn't follow me. I danced for the fisherman for James and Blank. They came with me and the dance went on. Fill in the missing lyric. Now, I think everybody probably sang this in primary school at some point. Question four. Right, so say we've got some German. We've got some German in here. Has du etwas Zeit für mich dann singe ich ein Lied für dich is the start of the German version of which iconic 80s song? So there was two versions of this. There was the, the English-speaking version and the German version. The German version is infinitely better. We agree on that. Um, Why do you so smile there as if we never agree on Because we never agree on anything because you have terrible opinions and you don't know how to put hyphens and things and not put hyphens and things. No, I'm not having that. And you use myriad wrong. 
Has to wet fast Zeich for meek dann singe ich ein Lied für dich is the start of the German version of which iconic 80s song. Question five. Who, which, how did you ever change these? Which legendary singer had a hit? <laughs> good, good job. Who <laughs> legendary singer? You said you fact-checked and proof. I didn't, run, I didn't, I told you I did, I ran out of time. Then. Which, le which, I pointed out myself, Dan, so you don't have to, you know, pull me up on it. You're very threatened by Daniel Strager. I am, yeah, honestly, it's because he wronged us a while back. Oh, nice, now you've dropped the pen on the laptop. <laughs> Go on, <laughs> Which legendary singer had a hit in the 1970s? Oh my life, 1970s with his song "Piano Man." We need to stop drinking during these quizzes. I've, I've had a third of a bottle that says of beer. That says a lot about you. Moving on, right? Which American rock band Did released you put the cheese in? Yes, oh. it's fine. It's not good. Which American rock band released "Boulevard of Broken Dreams" in 2004? Um, honestly, good time. Dan can. Dan the man. Dan the man. Dan the man only listens and to. Kyle, like, I bet Kyle gets this. Slightly emo modern rock. Sheena gets this. I bet Faith gets this. Which American rock band released Boulevard of Broken Dreams in 2004? Which famous Disney song starts with the line. I'm not going to sing it. I'm not going to sing it. Should I sing it? I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> Nance. So Lucy and, I had a, <laughs> Lucy and I had a bit of a conversation about this question before. <laughs> before we started <laughs> what she wanted me to do right. was to very subtly um somehow introduce her so that she could just like sing this <laughs> without without that being obvious like because obviously <laughs> you're not gonna i love to introduce lucy singing having spent three quizzes now desperately trying to avoid her singing things because it's horrendous can you just sing it please and get no, it out no I'm not going to sing it now you've embarrassed I tell you what I I've got an idea I've got an idea at the end when we get to the answers why don't no, you sing it then because you'll not be on camera yeah but you'll not be on camera then I'm too embarrassed anyway which famous <laughs> Disney song starts with the line Nance in Gonyama Bakiti Baba if I'd sung it you would have all got it right according to the animals which, what was the name of the house? Struggle with W's. According to the animals, what was the name of the house in New Orleans? So according to the animals, that's the name of the band. What, well, I don't want people to think that's just like a bunch of animals. Yeah, but you capitalised the A, that's enough of an indication. Mm, I also capitalised the T, which is what makes me think that you've changed it. According to yeah, the animals. Yeah, you capitalised that and that's wrong. Yeah, so how have you checked this one, but you didn't check the piano man? Uh, I don't know. To be no, I think it, it, well, no. To be fair, that one's because I was bolding and greening. Uh, what are you, you doing? Right? What are you doing? Um, right. Question nine. Justin Timberlake used to belong to which nineties boy band? Question nine is Justin Timberlake used to belong to which nineties boy band? They were your favourite group, weren't they? No, but you couldn't name them, even though like. I'm sure they sing their songs in Glee and you're a massive Glee flan. I've got a, a huh? Glee flan. <laughs> <laughs> massive Glee flan. Um, I've in got 2013, which Robin Thicke song caused untold, untold? Contro untold controversy? Untold. Untold. was horrendous. Mm. After some groups claimed that the lyrics were misogynistic and promoted a culture of date rape. Why did you laugh? This has ended on a bit of a somber note. It's been a bit of a laugh. And then it's a bit somber towards the end. I mean, it's a good song. It's almost as if you're terrible writing you questions. It, it does play with the lines between rape and consent, but it is a good song. So in 2013, which Robin Thicke song caused untold controversy after some groups claimed that the lyrics were misogynistic and promoted a culture of date rape? Right. This is, this is so the last round for the answers, apart from the picture round. Now that we're on the answers and no one can see the camera, do you want to sing your song? No, I don't want to sing my song. You've ruined it for everybody. I told you it would embarrass me. I, what I've done is I've saved everyone. You've what? Saved everyone. Saved everyone from right, press, me learning Zulu for two days. Right. Rivers of Babylon is a hit song sung by which sensational music group? It is Boney M. Nope. Oh, okay. What is the title of the number one song recorded by Lada Gaga and Bradley Cooper <laughs> in 2017? <laughs> It was shallow. Mm. In the shadow. Right, let us know shallow. if you got shallow. No. Complete the missing lyric. I danced for the scribe and the Pharisee. They would not dance and they wouldn't follow me. I danced for the fisherman for James and John. It was John. 
Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. came with me mm-hmm. and the dance went on. Dance, dance. No, stop, stop, no. stop, stop. John. 99 Red Balloons is the English mm-hmm. version of the German mm-hmm. song. Mm-hmm. So it's has to add fast mm-hmm. life for me. Dancing at eat kindly for tea. That is actually one of my favourite songs. Nine yeah, stop, okay, stop, 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 man. This is not an excuse for you to sing. I'll hear him we'll, start, we'll start up your own YouTube songs. channel called <laughs> Terrible Billy Singing. Billy Joel is a legendary singer who had a hit in the 1970s with the song Piano Man. Two people got shallow. So far. And Kyle. Is Kyle one of them? Which American rock band released Boulevard of Broken Dreams in 2004? It was Green Day. We did have some dispute over whether this was two words or one word. <laughs> there was no dispute. <laughs> you had it as one. I told you it was two. I, mean, I said I was going to put it as one anyway because it shouldn't be two. There's no reason. It's a band name. Anyway. It's a choice though, isn't it? Which famous Disney song starts with the line, I'm going to do it. Nance Ngonya Maba Kitty Baba Ngonya Maba. I'm just going to mute. It's the circle. It's also an Elton John song. It's a good song, but the Elton John song doesn't have the Zulu at the beginning. Dan Straker says that Green Day is two words, and he would know because he is the ultimate Green Day. Oh, player. it's almost like we put this question in exactly for Dan Straker. Hmm. Because we, we were worried he wouldn't get any right. Oh no, well, right. Kyle's not even here. Is he not? Is Kyle not here? No. Your Kyle's here. Yeah, what but your Kyle's not. No, my Kyle's not. Oh. He hasn't even replied on WhatsApp. He might be dead. According to the animals, what was the name of the house in New Orleans? It is the house of the rising sun. Justin Timberlake used to belong to NSYNC. Is that how, is that how you write NSYNC? Yes, I checked. Okay. In 2013, um, the song that caused all the hoo-ha was Blurred <laughs> hoo-ha. Lines. Hoo-ha. The Blurred Lines between consent and rape. Yeah, it's still really catchy until you notice the really annoying noise in the background, which you then can't mm. notice. Yeah? So... Every so often in the background it goes, ooh, anyway, it ruins it. Uh, ruins let it. us know how you did on that round. We have the answers to the picture round coming up and then we are done. Right, so Will's just got back and said he got nine. Does that include shallow, Will? No, nah, there's no chance Will got shallow. Unless he's with Claire, maybe. Faith got shallow. Why have I got a shout, Arsene Wenger? Arsene Wenger! Nance, I've spent ages learning the Zulu. It's only better in German because nobody knows the lyrics in English. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Love. Uh, okay, so we are going to put on the. Yeah, right. So, so Sheena made a good point here. She got 10 in the last round because she guessed Finland because of the Finland. friends and you keep mentioning Finland all the time. Finland. <laughs> I do keep mentioning Finland <laughs> all the time. You know, Finland, you know. Uh, okay, so answers to the picture round. Um, I would expect everyone to get a pretty decent score here, like 7. Seven and above. I'd be disappointed if anybody didn't get ten. So left to right, Pepsi, Unilever. Unilever. <laughs> Twitter. No, no English person says lever. 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 Twitter. Citroen. What's the blue WWF stand for? World Wildlife Foundation. Oh yeah, okay. PayPal. Or World Wild Re- um, World Wrestling Foundation. I used to, but it's a panda, so it shouldn't be that. Yeah, well, it's, it's not a wrestling panda. <laughs> yeah, we didn't we didn't have the acronym in. We had the panda. Yeah. Don't don't worry yourself. PayPal, World of Warcraft, BP, Starbucks, and Lloyd Bank. Now Lloyd Bank, it is specifically Lloyd Bank, but I would accept Lloyd's TSB as well. Yeah, we wouldn't accept the Black Widows or whatever else they're part of. Is it Black Widows? Scottish Widows. <laughs> what? <are you laughs> not spiders. About? It's not spiders. Maybe it was Black Widows. Again. No, if it was Black Widows, it would be a spider. Right. So uh, everyone has scored pretty well on the picture round. I think next time. I think we've made we, it too easy. So next yeah. week it was too hard. Yeah, now yeah. It's too if, easy. If, no, we didn't do a picture round last week. If we do a picture no, round. No, I don't mean the picture round. I mean in general, everybody's getting really high scores from yeah, yeah. six well, and above. Think, yeah. We said we wanted everybody to get it four right. No, no, no. My uh, my aim with my questions was kind of three to seven. Right. So I think what we'll have to do next time is we'll have to have two or three questions I think in each next round. Week, that is I think round two tough. should be purely in Arabic. Like, I, I think we're making it far too easy. Right. So let us know your totals, please. We've already got some good scores coming in. Um, the Wrinkley's got 58 and a half, but your mum got 61. That's a cracking score. 61 out of 70, that is, you know, that is possibly too easy. I think if we... If we <laughs> you're saying that just because it's my mum answer? No, no, no. If, we, if people are getting over 60 out of 70, I think that's arguably too easy. Saturday's so quiz will be infinitely harder. Please start learning your periodic tables. Good bands. Four words to English songs in German. Um, so the highest score at the moment is your mum. Oh. 
So the, the, prize, really well, the, the prize this week is again, you know, a bag of flour. I tried to voluntarily drop my mum a bag of flour off yesterday and she politely refused, saying I don't use it, take it away. Right, so Dan reckons, Dan reckons that um, he wrote his score down. Harry's up. Oh, <laughs> right, well say bye to everyone. <laughs> bye, we'll be back on Saturday. Um, might not be Saturday, by the way. We might do a different day. Right. We'll, let, we'll let you know. Well, because we, we agree Saturday. Lucy, go and sort her out. It's Saturday. Um, 44 for Carl and Tammy. That's a really good score. Dan reckons that he um, lost. Lost his score. Row it down and lost it. That sounds totally legit, Dan. 100%. Definitely sounds legit. So Dan got the lowest score. That's for sure. Um, oh, Sheena and Des. 65. 65. That's way too high. That is way too high. And that probably means that they've won the quiz for three weeks in a row that's ridiculous oh hang on hang on a second hang on i'm being told that william might have had a good score as well let me see what he got oh 61 61 for william that is an excellent excellent score 39 well done has it's a good effort as i said before like i don't think you can really appreciate how difficult this quiz is if you're not english <laughs> um you've got to listen in your non-native tongue and then there's a load of quite specific English questions like the coronation one so well done um, 61 for William that's really good 61 was um, same as uh, Lucy's mum that's a really good score I think that was second was it 61 was second so 65 is top and that looks like that's the winning score how did Grant do? He's back asleep for anyone who's interested. I'm a Harry settling machine. Oh yeah, Grant got sixty. That's a really good score as well. Yeah. So too um, good, too good, too good. Other yeah, scores. too good. I think so. Next time, what we'll do is we will aim to differentiate a little bit, put uh, maybe three or four genuinely tough questions in each each round, and the picture round especially. Like, well, we didn't know. We didn't know how to gauge it. I've got an idea for the next uh, quizzes picture round, which is slightly more complicated. So we'll give that a go. It's just whether and or not there's we a link get a, a time to do it. Um, let us know about the anagrams and stuff as well. I put a couple of anagrams in my in my questions. It was kind of like a way of making the questions a little bit more difficult, but then making them accessible. Who won? Uh, Sheena and Des again. <laughs> 65 this time. <laughs> what we'll have to do with Sheena and Des, I think next quiz, is we'll have to get them to come and sit outside our house. Have like a handicap. So we can see whether or not they're Googling. We'll give them a handicap. Because Des is, Des is pretty quick on that phone. You know what I mean? Just saying. Just saying. Anyway, um, thank you very much, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Um, we're looking at Saturday, but yep. if anyone has, if anyone would prefer it to be a different day other than Saturday, we are looking at Saturday because um, it kind of works for us. But if you would prefer another night, then just let us know. And we're fairly flexible, depending on Duncan's work um, and where our Harry sleeps. But as you can see, he's slept pretty well. If you've got mates that want to join as well, I think we're probably now yeah, um, I think we're smooth in a stage to be able to do that. We're free in. We're free in. Maybe he's opening out a bit yeah. too well, but uh, no, um, not yeah. Preferably not kind of broadcasting it far and wide. Yeah. But if you've got mates that would like, I'm not subscribe. inviting my work friends or anything like that. So just. Um, Anyone who you know, just let us know and that'll, that'll be absolutely fine. But other than that, um, we're looking at Saturday. And if you yeah, want to do it... Let us know any feedback. Thanks very much. And it's been um, a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye.